I have many questions, starting with this. People are sending important messages to me about my chess records campaign on Facebook. Uh huh. And I, I, on my phone, how how do I get Facebook messages? Because I hit the thing that says messages, but I don't see any messages. What am I doing wrong? That's my first question. Okay, so I'm going to answer this by saying that um, go on your phone and play around with it. Yeah. And go to where. Serrat and Marciano's Facebook pages. Right, I've done that. And then go to messages or notifications. I've done that. And it's there. But I don't see any messages. This is a waste of your time. All right, how about <laughs> Sorry. this? I hear, Sorry. Sorry. Go to my next question. If you can help me comment, please. Here's my next question. Is, uh, is this accurate? Uh, do we have this right? And have people been honest with us? Um, that the um, the Gilligan's Thank you for Island cookbook, all the love and hearts and likes, thumbs up and all the that. Gilligan's Island recipe book was won by Jim McNicholas. I told you that somebody had won it and that they had let you know. Was that right? It was there a dispute, or is Jim the winner of that? And the other question is, you need is, to do research. I, the problem is that Bob does not want to do well, anything. I, I don't want to work. That's why I'm in radio right now. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I went Go back the to comments. the day. I don't have time to do all that. Oh, yeah, I know. It's time And then somebody by the name of, it, it sounds like a fake name, but it's not Steve Dalkey. You know, Steve Dalkey, not Steve Dalkey. Steve Dalkey uh, claims he won the Richard Simmons cookbook. So, is that right? If it is. Don't, who are you yeah. asking? You cannot be asking that phone. No, the, no, I'm asking, you need I'm to asking no, all no, the no. people who don't please are don't do that. No, you need to. This do is the, like a, a wiki. It's no, the wiki era. No, we no, police no, no. ourselves. No, here's what you need to do: go to the day where we did that. Okay. And then look at the comments, and you'll see who won. Well, I don't have time to do that. Yeah, you. Do. You need to make time, or else we can't have a contest. I don't have time to do that. <laughs> or we got to think of a better way to do contests. No. <laughs> We can hire somebody. I'll, we'll hear from... No, it, you friends. cannot expect the people. It's like a different time every day. Okay. How do you know that the same people are tuning in? We're, you uh, don't. Nobody tunes in to this. They don't okay, tune in. Okay, whatever. Clicks in. We're on early tonight because we're going to our daughter's basketball game. So that's why we're with you earlier than we usually are. Yes. Um, and Bob doesn't want to go. And so he's no, in a bad mood, because it's which too puts far, me in a bad mood. And it's like, I'm and tired of traffic and, uh, you know, and I, you know. Whatever. All right. My daughter's not, not going to play. She's not even going to play. We're going to go and watch her sit on a bench. But we're going to support the team because the yeah. team is great and they're all her friends. How about if, hey, how about if I support the team from here and you do a, a Facebook Live from the game? No, no. Oh. Okay, I'm going to do what my favorite YouTuber does, okay? His name is Casey Neistat, by the way. And I am going to... Write backwards because this thing is... Oh, yes! Thing is I better reversed. do it backwards. This thing is reversed because we like to read the comments. That's why we flip it. If you hold a mirror up to us... Oh, my God. Can I even write backwards? Let's see what you're saying. You know, oh one time God. by accident, I saw those Facebook messages. I kept pressing different things, and then there they were, and I don't know how I got there. Yeah. And I never got back. Okay. Yeah. That's right, Tom. Use a mirror. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but how do we use a mirror? No. Okay. This is what Casey Neistat did actually today. And... Oh, I like the smell of that marker. It's almost like mimeograph okay. paper. <laughs> Can you see that? Yeah. YouTube drama! That's what's going on today. That's what Casey Neistat did? YouTube drama. So oh, he didn't write it backwards. He had a thing okay. about the drama about PewDiePie, right? Yeah, so there's this YouTuber. His name is PewDiePie. He has 53 million plus subscribers. Are you going to read a book while yeah. I'm talking? <laughs> Could I, you put the book down, I, please? As I this said, is what I happens. No... Welcome to my life. This is what happens every day. And then Bob doesn't know why I'm mad. As I said, I So he's no... like, why are you so mad at me? As I said, because I... Because this is what happens. I'm trying to talk. 
And then he's reading a book. As I said, oh. I have no time, so I'm <laughs> catching up on my reading while I have a moment. <laughs> Thanks for all the love and support. Just checking out. A, I'm feeling it. Just checking out. On a, this Valentine's Day. I was just checking out a future prize. Hmm. Okay. 53 million is still not as much as... What? Oh, Betsy DeVos gave to Republicans. St. Lawrence uh, and Queen of Peace High School combining... Chris says we're not funny when we're fighting. To go co-ed. <laughs> really? Sorry, Chris. All right. I was going to... Hi, Vicki. Um, I was going to stop fighting and tell you about this. Is this YouTube right? YouTube drama. YouTube drama. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my favorite YouTuber was talking about this earlier today. Bob, are you I've really? got a sign, too. <laughs> are you I've got a sign, kidding? too. There's my sign. That's our new YouTube channel. We, you know, to confuse people, we, we were calling it Suso's Fork, which is the Latin <laughs> food website. But now you can, and this is backwards here, so it shows up frontwards with, with there. But that's our YouTube channel now. But we, and by the way, we still have the other one. We still have Suso's Fork. Right. But um, if you're into food, go there. If you're into us, come here. So anyway, so um, this, so this, the the biggest. He's huge. This guy. His name is PewDiePie. His his real name is Felix, and he's a Swedish guy, and he became famous, and he got a ton of followers because. He was um, playing games on YouTube. Watching, yeah, he was just he was video playing games, games so video games, and, and and then yeah. taping himself or yeah, taping himself playing the video games. And the video games are crazy, whatever. But he started getting a, a ton of followers. That's, he's only he's got f more than fifty three million followers. Hold so, it right there for people not interested in this story. Very soon <laughs> we're gonna tell you how to win something here, and also I have a major announcement to make. Okay, now back to the PewDiePie story. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. That's, that's good. Embed the teases. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so anyway, so he was so big and Disney partnered up with him. And I don't know what the projects are, but they were doing projects together. And, you know, the guy's like, you know, I watch him all the time because I'm really interested in all this YouTube stuff because I want subscribers. But instead of having 53 million subscribers, we have something like, I don't know, under 100. So we just started. subscribe. We just started like three days ago or four days ago. So anyway, so PewDiePie uh, gets called out a couple of days ago by the Wall Street Journal for anti-Semitic content. So he... What are you laughing at? I said, I think it's, was that Carolyn who commented that she doesn't understand the point of these videos? You mean our videos or the PewDiePie videos Marianne's talking about? So, uh, so anyway, uh, so, so everybody's calling him out because he's got all these anti-Semitic videos. And then I, I, took, I, I went to see what he did today in response to that. And he's got this nasty, you know, video game posted. You know, it's like a very sexual... Um, Valentine's Day um, video. It has nothing to do, he's not responding to, to what's been going on. Mm -hmm. But it's horrible, I think, my opinion is this, it's horrible, A, it's horrible that uh, you would take the state, you're, like, you have such a responsibility when you have so many people who are watching you that you really have to be careful what you say. And then like, my... Like, like right here. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, and then my favorite YouTuber, his name is Casey Neistat, and so he did a video, you know, starting off like this, you know, writing on a piece of paper, you know, uh, YouTube drama, and he's trying to explain the whole thing, and he knows PewDiePie. They've met, they text each other, and whatever. Now, Casey has, I think, like 6 million followers, as opposed to the 53 million followers that... PewDiePie has. It's a good thing I did the tease. <laughs> and you have another tease you want to insert right now? <laughs> I may have to. <laughs> anyway, um, I, I wish that Casey had come out, you know, more stronger. You know, I mean, I know it, it's somebody that he knows. It's not his friend. And what he was saying was, I know that PewDiePie is not a bad person and he's not 
you know, uh, that he wouldn't want to hurt anybody or whatever. But the fact is that this guy is putting this content out there that is just not right, especially it's influencing so many teenagers. So I really have a problem with PewDiePie doing that. And, um, and I don't know if he just does it because, I mean, he's really out there. And you really have to understand that, too, that it's entertainment. But just using uh, those anti-Semitic, <laughs> uh, that anti-Semitic content for entertainment, I just, I think it's wrong. And we should call it out when it's wrong, even if we know the person. So I still love you, Casey Neistat. But... Um, I, we got to call him out. Come on. That's just not right. What are you laughing at? Oh, people making comments about how thrilled I seem and how they're ready for the story to end. Wait. <laughs> Matthew says, I'm done with you guys. You guys won't tell me what the name in the safe was. <laughs> I can tell you. Do you remember? Yeah, it was no. Epi Letter. Ann Lander's real name. And, yeah. And the, the bit was, right outside that studio... Uh, that name was on an honorary street sign. So if you came, because we kept saying, come look at our safe, because if you turned around, you would have seen that name Listen, right there. Bob says, good job putting that art back on the wall, Bob. Thank you. <laughs> there it is, right there. It's nice anyway, and straight, any thoughts, it's not upside down. Any thoughts on PewDiePie and, uh, what the, and the point I'm trying to make? What, want to hear my major announcement? Well, wait, In I want to know if anybody has... Anything to say about this because, well, I don't know, you you probably don't watch YouTube videos all the time. I'm trying to watch YouTube videos because we're trying to grow our YouTube channel. So our YouTube channel being Surat and Mercyana. Yeah, but PewDiePie. And PewDiePie, I, I'm just watching the yeah, people who are huge. People, I want to know what the content you is. You know what? You go on YouTube like I go on YouTube to see a clip and then it gives you suggestions. You end up looking at other things you like, some old TV shows maybe. But PewDiePie, Casey Neistat... You know, those, those, Lily Singh, those, who those is Superwoman? Kids, kids look at that, not us. Well, I've been looking at them. And well, uh, Matthew, kid. what are you saying thank you for? Math Matthew your says opinion. a big thank you. Your opinion, um, I guess. Okay. Announce it already, says Rose. Announce the what? The contest? The major. Uh, uh, here's the major <laughs> announcement. I now want to be. Remember when Prince uh, decided he would just be a symbol? Remember that? <laughs> yeah. I am taking a rapper's name, and I no longer want to be known as Bob Surratt. I want to be known as Consequence. <laughs> so please refer why, to me as why, Consequence. Why do you think that's so funny? I, I, I'm, I, I'm, I don't. I just think it's a good name to have. <laughs> I want to be Consequence, so just call me Consequence. <laughs> and and I, I'd appreciate it if I saw some comments addressing me that Ellen way. says, who cares about cutie pie? It's not cutie pie. <laughs> it's PewDiePie. P-E-W-D-I-E-P-I-E. -E -E. That's what it is. Uh, are we giving away more stuff from our house tonight? Yes, Rick, yeah, we we'll are. Give away something. How about this? I was looking oh, at this. Oh, uh, Matthew wanted the name in the safe. That's why he was saying um, thank you. Okay. This uh, is a, a recipe book, a seafood cookbook. You ever go to McCormick and Schmick's restaurant or McCormick and Schmick or whatever it is? McCormick and Schmick. No, it's Mary Schmick, but McCormick and Schmick. Uh, you don't anyway, even spell it the same way. Uh, there's some nice, lovely pictures and lovely uh, seafood, uh, seafood recipes in here. Why does this book always remind me of Steve Dahl? I don't know why. Did does we go to like... dinner with him there? Or oh. no, he does, because he used to do a segment. Yeah, he used to do a segment with the chef, we don't, Chef we, Hans, Mary right? Mary Ann tonight is going to decide. Oh, Chef Hans, I think, was there for a while. Yeah, 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 yeah. Him. Uh, go ahead, Mary Ann. How are we going to give this away? You're asking me? Okay, I'll tell you, I'll tell you how. So, um, our YouTube channel, which we're trying to get people to go to it so we can be as big as PewDiePie. But we'll be responsible, okay? We won't be doing content uh, like that. All right, so let me refresh my page. People are asking, you know, can, can I have dibs on the bobblehead? No, that doesn't work that way. We decide what we give away down here. Okay, so there's a video that I just posted this afternoon, and it's a video from uh, a couple of weeks ago, or a few weeks ago, when we started videotaping right after the show. Mm -hmm. and after so, the radio show. After the radio show, which is on from 10 to noon on WLS. All right, AM, Chicago, in case you're not in Chicago. And so 
Uh, I did a graphic on the picture on the thumbnail. So what does it say on the thumbnail of the latest video that I posted up? Okay, what does it say on the, the first, thumbnail? The first person to have okay, that answer and post it here wins okay. the book. The, if Bob can find you. Okay. First person to post the comment with okay, the correct wait. answer. Consequence. Is that one Q or two? What? Okay. Consequence. Yo, consequence. What's up? <laughs> what, what up? A, what up? Thank you. <laughs> Who said that? Anton. Anton. Thanks, Anton. Yes. Okay. Sir Consequence. Yes, Rose, that feels good to be dressed that way. Okay, so have you gone to our YouTube page? And while you're there, please subscribe to our YouTube page. Hit the little red box, subscribe, and then check our videos. They're actually fun. So we post all, we'll be posting this later tonight. We post all our Facebook lives there, and then we also post other videos that we do. No, Anton, it's AM 890. Not AM 1000. Are, do we have our winner yet? No, we don't have a winner. No. Standing by to give away the book. Your Post royal consequence? <laughs> <laughs> you can just call me consequence. It's that okay. color is nice on you. Come on. Yeah. What is? What does it say on the thumbnail? Do you know what the th Do you know what a thumbnail is? It's the little picture, right? It's the little box picture. What? What are the words that it says? Yes. Yes. Bob wins. Let me make sure it's right. Bob Starkey. Yes. Bob Starkey just won. Bob, can you remember that? Okay. Bob okay. Starkey. Bob Starkey. Here's what I want you to do, Bob Starkey. Send me your uh, mailing address <laughs> along with your name because you're the winner. Email that to me. And please remind me that you won the McCormick and Schmick Seafood Cookbook. And send your email to Bob and Marianne at WLSAM.com. Okay, your address, your contact info, and remind me that this is the book you want. Okay, uh, this is a really poor system because... No, it's not. Yes, it is, because people could say anything they wanted. No, they can't. Because we, we know they that could. name, we know that name, and the, it gets sent to that name. But you don't know if... Okay, so remember the other day, there was a woman who wanted the book that another person won? Yeah. So how would you even know? I check. You do not <laughs> That's just, the problem. Just mailing books out. <laughs> Willy nilly. Hey, and that's going to be my name tomorrow, Willy nilly. Vicky says, memory is the first to go, Bob. Oh, I forgot what Vicky just and, said. What did she and, say? And uh, <laughs> Bob says, woohoo, he won. Norm says, Norm, Norm, you're, you know, first runner up. I mean, you got it also, but. Uh, What's Bob the name of the winner? Uh, Bob, Bob won, right? Starkey. Bob Starkey. Should anything happen to Bob during his reign as the winner of this cookbook, a recipe book, you, what's the runner-up? Runner the name? first runner-up, yeah. What's his name? Uh, Norm. Norm, Norm. Norm, you will take over the duties for Bob in case something happens to him, okay? You know what? This book is actually really, really We'll, we'll have another giveaway tomorrow night, so don't worry. It's got really nice pictures. Don't worry, fellow losers. Check it out. Yeah, it's a yeah. good prize. Okay, so so what else? Um, I, you know what? I, you know. Oh, going, we have to go. We're going to. We have to uh, go to the. Okay, so remember. I don't know if you remember, but earlier today, I gave Bob a Valentine's Day gift, and it was first thing in the morning. I said, "Listen, whatever you want to eat tonight, we'll we'll eat." And usually, well, that's I mean, not that's not what a, you said. I you said, said, "Tonight you can have whatever you want." For dinner. For and dinner. Before you said for dinner, I was really excited. <laughs> but then I was also excited when you said for dinner. Okay, so I said you can have anything you want for dinner, which is huge around here because usually I am like the health food police. Mm -hmm. And, and you know, I, thing, I make sure that everybody has really healthy food. Because then we can be bad on the weekend and we, it's okay. So, so I said anything. Ugh. Anything goes. So all day long he thought about it. And then as a gift to me... Bob surprised me on the show today with a restaurateur, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and um, and a, a box from the restaurant uh, full of White Castle burgers, which, by the way, I don't think I had ever seen that many White Castle burgers. It was 30 sliders. 30 sliders, yeah. Well, we did and a uh, little uh, game. It was uh, very cute. Surprise, didn't tell, I Whatever. just told Marianne, got a guy from a romantic restaurant, see if you can guess what <laughs> restaurant, and she's guessing... Joe Stone Crab, yeah, all of these places. I was wishing it was. And crabs. finally, it was revealed 
because tonight they do that at White Castles. They have this tradition where they do this candlelight right, Valentine's right, right. romantic dinner at White Castles tonight. Yeah. yeah. So too late to go now though, because the, uh, people he says people started calling in January to reserve. Yeah, spaces. that's really incredible. Yeah. But anyway, so now Bob spent the entire day like not knowing what to do. He was so nervous and anxiety ridden because I said you could eat anywhere. Too many choices. And he's like, w you know, I don't know. Well, I don't know what to I do. Could, well, pizza now, would be normally a first look choice. At the time. But we had pizza at work today. I know. His little food wheel was all so confused. There was White Castle, so that uh, eliminates hamburgers. <laughs> And yeah, now we he, gotta go. And now we have to go, so I don't even going, know if we're gonna uh, eat dinner. Niles, where are we going? I, I don't Niles. know. Far. We're going away. We're going somewhere far to go to this basketball Park game Ridge. where our daughter is not gonna play. We're going somewhere like <laughs> west on, on golf and, uh, you know, maybe we'll go away. We'll pass someplace out that way. Okay, so uh, anyway, um, so there you have it. When, nothing. He didn't have anything for Valentine's no. Day yet. Thank you so much for being with us. Uh, oh, Ken had to reboot. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I need a reboot. We can't repeat all that. Slicers. Rick, Rick. Thank you, Rick. That's very funny. You heard me calling him Slicers. <laughs> <laughs> well, because on the box it says sliders, right? <laughs> the sliders, and I misread it. And it said sliders. You can tell Marianne's a regular. Slicers. <laughs> She's a regular at White Castle. <laughs> Go to Papado's. Says Andy. You know what? I was thinking about Greek food. Where is that place? I don't know. We'll we'll look it up, but we really have to go because we're already going to be late. Right. We're going to be late for the game. Okay, well, that's it from the basement tonight. I'm Consequence, <laughs> and we'll see you on the radio and back here in the basement tomorrow. Okay, good night. Have a good night.